Hello nerds, and welcome back to Sanctioneering. A paint mixture containing 25% of a pigment in the balanced water sells for $18 per kilogram, and a mixture containing 12% pigment sells for $10 per kilogram. If a paint retailer produces a blend containing 17% pigment, for how much should it be sold to yield a 10% profit? So in this problem, we're going to be learning about writing a basis for our calculation. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, and assuming you've already done so and tried it out for yourself, I'm going to start out by drawing the balance for our system with two inflows and one product. Now we can replace the variables in our question for our variables for our calculation. So we have M1 for our first stream, which consists of 25% of a pigment, which we can write as the mass fraction is 25%, and the balance of water, so that means we have to take 1 minus 0.25, which is going to be 0.75 kilograms, and that's our mass fraction for water. And the price is at $18 per kilogram. Similarly, for our second stream, we can write out 12% of the pigment as a mass fraction in the second stream, and the balance is water, 1 minus 0.12, which is 0.88, and the price is at $10 per kilogram. And for our third stream, we'll label it as M3, which we have the mass fraction similarly at 17%, and the balance, which we, which we can calculate again. But the price, we don't know yet. So, what can we do? If you were stuck at this point, I recommend you pause at this point and try to solve it yourself. Now hopefully you gave that a go by now, and we can start by writing out the overall mass balance for our calculation, which we can do by writing the general mass balance equation, adding up everything coming in, setting it equal to everything coming out, which we have M1 and M2 as well as the pigment balance, applying the same equation but now as a function of mass fraction. So we can replace these for the streams that we do have. The mass fraction in the first stream, mass fraction in the second stream, and third stream. And we do have these values we can plug in. And now we can solve. So at this point, if you just got these equations, I definitely recommend you try to solve the algebra by yourself. So we can plug in these values. Plug in the overall mass balance equation into the pigment balance equation. But we realize we have too many unknowns. So what happened? Well, we have to select the basis so we can solve this problem. So how do we do that? How do we select the basis? Well, first thing you have to understand is that practice makes perfect. You'll begin to develop your own ideas of how to make your calculations. But also we can have some tips such as selecting easy numbers like 1 or 100. And then, if it's usually going to be either the feed or the product, we can replace those. So my question as an undergrad when taking this class was, aren't we just making up numbers and pulling them out of nowhere? Well, yes, yes but then we can actually develop the final answer in terms of the basis. For example, per 100 kilograms. In fact, it doesn't really matter what you choose because at the end we're going to divide it by the basis we chose anyway. So really, you can choose any arbitrary number. If you really wanted to, you could choose pi or any other random constant. So in this case, let's select our basis. Since this problem is analyzing the product stream, I'm gonna select the basis for the product and I'll set it to be one kilogram, a nice easy number. So we can replace M3 as one kilogram and rewrite our overall mass balance equation. And now we have M3. And from our previous equations, we can try this again. And I really, really encourage you to try it this time. Otherwise, we can replace our equations that we solved for before, and we have two equations and one unknown. So we can rearrange our overall mass balance equation and plug it in. Seriously, solve it by yourself. The rest is just algebra, but be careful with your careless mistakes because I know those definitely got me. Regardless, our mass of our first stream is going to be 0.384 kilograms. And our second stream is going to be 0.615 kilograms. Now we can replace these in our diagram. We have our nice calculations. And now let's think how we can answer the question. What should we sell this for to yield 10% product? Well, if we make a kilogram of product of paint, we'll need 0.384 kilograms of paint 1 and 0.615 kilograms of paint 2, costing us about $13.06 to make just one kilogram of paint. So to yield 10% profit, we need to multiply by 1.1. Why 1.1? Because that's going to be 110% or 10% profit. And the price is going to be $14.37 per kilogram. 
And that is our answer. So as usual, here's some tips. I really recommend you try these out and apply these to the rest of your homework, practice problems and studying, as well as your exams. Definitely remember that practice makes perfect. So that's it for this video. Nice short little calculation for our example for calculating a basis. Check the links in the description to get to the playlist as well as any other resources I have for y'all. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.